Good afternoon, YouTube pipe community. This is New England Pipe Smoker here, back with a new tin opening. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say Happy Independence Day to everybody out there. Hope everybody stays safe and has a safe holiday. So, sorry I've been around for a couple weeks. I've been very busy with work. Also on a vacation recently up to the mountains of New Hampshire, not too far north. So it was a nice relaxing vacation. No internet service, um, no cell phone reception, basic cable um, in the middle of the woods. It was fantastic. My wife is still actually up there for the rest of the week, and I've been home. I had to come back to work for a couple days, so now I'm just hanging out relaxing. On Saturday, watching some golf, drinking some wine, relaxing with the dogs. So I'm back here for another tin opening um, on a couple housekeeping things. There will be a video review on the Escudo Navy Deluxe coming up. And um, I think it's going to uh, upset a few people on the, uh, in the uh, pipe community in the world, pipe community world, regarding my opinions and views on that particular tobacco. With that being said, like I said, this is a tin opening review. So we're going to be review opening today Rat Trays Wallace Flake. This is a tobacco I haven't really seen much about out there. However, I do see now pipes and tobaccos. Um, excuse me, pipes and cigars today, that the um, particular tobacco is back ordered. So obviously people are out there buying it and scooping it up. I'm not sure if it's a relatively new tobacco out there. And I did a quick run through on something else today. I happened to come across a page on this. And whoever makes um, rat trays um, tobaccos, whoever blends them for them, whatever company does it, apparently they used to... Um, create or blend the Peterson tobaccos, but they no longer blend for uh, Peterson tobacco. Well, apparently they still have the recipes, patents, I don't know what the deal is, but either way, there's about eight Peterson tobaccos that now this company who now blends for rat trays is now putting out. So this, according to this website that I was reading, is the exact replica of University Flake by Peterson. Um, when I do the full review, you guys will, I'll have a full list of the other six to eight tobaccos that this person is saying comes from, uh, the Peterson line that Rat Trace is now putting out. Um, anyways, this is a flake. It says Wallace Flake and it says Plum underneath the Wallace Flake. I did get this, I can't remember if I got this from Smoking Pipes, um, excuse me, um, Four Noggins or Pipes and Cigars, I can't remember. I did a Yabo a few weeks ago. If you guys really want to know, you can look it up. It says Rat Trace Flake Collection. Walls Flake, 1.75 ounces, and it's a dark Virginia flake. Like I said, I will have a further full review on this coming up, I'm thinking, in the next couple weeks. Um, now that it's summer, I have some more time off. Not time off, but I have, I'll have some more time. So let's pop this open and see what this bad boy looks like. Like I said, I've never seen this flake. A lot of the other tobaccos that I've opened recently, I've you know watched videos on, they've been extensively reviewed, etc. So you've seen what the tobacco looks like. This though is a complete wild card. I have no idea. I don't know if I've even seen anybody smoking this or reviewing this online yet that I've seen anyway. So anyways. So. So this is what we got. Like I said, I have never seen University Flake, so I can't say if this looks like University Flake or not. But, all the flakes are universal in size. Um, here you go. Is that bad? There you go, it's the best. Not too thick. I mean, normal thickness, I think, for a flake. Moisture content. It's a little moist, but could, could use a little bit of drying time. I'm getting a, the, the normal Virginia smell, but a little bit of fruitness. I can't put my finger on it. It's a sweet fruit. I'm thinking of a candy, um, but I can't put my finger on which one. I just know that it's there. I, I want to say some type of airhead or something along those lines, but I, it's, I don't, that's not right. That's the first thing that's coming to mind on this. I don't know. I, I can't put my finger on it. It's a sweet fruit. Right. 
I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. Not prune juice. I don't know. I don't know that you guys don't want to see me sniffing a tin of tobacco for the next couple of minutes, but it's a sweet fruit. I just can't put my finger on what it is yet. Um, so this is like this is the next tin opening. There should be a review of Escudo Navy Deluxe coming up, and like I said, I I will disagree with many of the um, of the other reviewers on the, in the YouTube community and pretty much the tobacco world. Uh, I'm gonna go against the grain on this one and my feelings for Escudo Navy Deluxe. That should be coming up in the next week or so. Hopefully, I wanted to get a new tin opening at least once a week. Maybe like a Sunday pipe chat or a weekend pipe chat and a review every two weeks. That schedule's been kind of screwy the last couple weeks. That's just because I've been pretty busy, but I want to get back to that schedule. Anyways, this is Rat Trey's Wallace Flake. And thank you for all my new subscribers. I do have a few recently. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys like the channel going forward and you have liked the channel previously. It's stuff that you've watched or looked at. Um... As always, comments and suggestions are greatly appreciated. And once again, this is New England Pipe Smoker. Happy Independence Day. Be safe and thanks for watching.